I'm attending the annual risk management and trading conference of risk mathics. We did two scheduled panels entitled not the three horsemen of the apocalypse, a uniform approach to the regulation of AI, quantum computing, blockchain, and other new technologies. We did a scheduled panel called how can regulators best support efficient markets. And then we sort of did an unscheduled panel called regulation, market structure, and financial regulation. How was the vibe at the conference? Very, very enthusiastic. Uh, this is one of my favorite conferences. It always has been one of my favorite conferences, and it's fitting, I think, in many ways, that it's my last conference uh, as an employee of, a, of an entity in financial services uh, because it's, it's mostly traders. Uh, it's mostly folks that work uh, in, in the back office of the banks and the brokerage companies down here. Uh, there, there, there's a fair smattering of lawyers but it's principally aimed at you know risk managers, people who touch risk left and right, and you know it was a lot of enthusiasm down here. The, the sessions were well attended. Certainly, the the sessions that I was involved in, a lot of interaction, a lot of good questions, a lot of interest in new technology, particularly uh, artificial intelligence. The leader of the conference, Alan Baruch, has just did a, he does a terrific job, and uh, I, I, you know all all hats off to him and his team for the way they organize this. Uh, and move things along. What did you learn from the conference? I learned that Larry Tab is just so smart. <laughs> he gave the uh, kickoff presentation, and you know I'm just a big Larry Tab fan. And he gave sort of an overview of of, of where market structure is today. Uh, he talked to you know uh, gave a really nice overview. I thought uh, you know, Tim Giannopoulos. Uh, formerly associated with trading technologies. I mean, I, he's just hysterical. I, I think he's uh, one of the smartest guys. And he was sort of talking about, you know, the criteria of of, of investing in a technological firm. I thought that was fascinating. Uh, I, I participated, I, I sat in on a session by Tom Sosnoff yesterday from Tasty Trade, or formerly of Tasty Trade. And he, he was talking about uh, investors getting over uh, their reluctance to invest in markets because of fears of risk. And I thought he did a nice job discussing that. I'm not sure I learned anything new, but I learned perspectives on things that I always appreciate hearing. The, you know, Larry always makes me think of something I haven't thought about before. Tim, uh, you know, uh, and Tom, same thing. You know, they just made me think of things I hadn't thought about before, about subjects I thought I knew something about. What does retirement look like for you? I think most people by now understand that I live up in the mountains mostly these days in a town called Estes Park, Colorado. And I'm there because I love hiking I and mean, I do a lot of hiking. So I'll continue to, I'll, I'll probably do more hiking and I'll probably travel a lot and do hiking at other locations. I don't plan to, uh, you know, disappear from the industry. Uh, don't be surprised if you if you see me, uh, you know, speaking. I, I, I just have a lot of curiosity in, in the technologies that are being developed to support the industry. And I expect I'll continue to follow those technologies. And if anybody you know, wants to talk to me about that, I will. Uh, but I just don't, I don't want to be employed anymore. I, I sort of want to just uh, enjoy things at my speed. Uh, a lot of things I haven't done. And, and there's a lot of time I, I owe my wife to spend with her. I, I think I'll be pretty active for, for quite some time, hopefully. Are you on any board still? I am currently serving on, on two advisory boards to state agencies. I'm, I'm a member of the Securities Advisory Board of the state of Colorado. Um, I was appointed by the governor for that. And then I'm a member of the Advisory Committee on Digital uh, Assets for New York State Department of Financial Services. I, I expect I'll continue to be active in that. And uh, who, who knows what else?